And now let's talk about UNESCO. That's the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. And no, they haven't rated national anthems. But they have released their 2023 Technology in Education report, and that report contains a recommendation. They say ban smartphones in schools. That's right, UNESCO is echoing most tenured professors and asking for an end to the phones in classrooms. The UN body has given reasons for wanting to ban phones, but is it practical? Is it even possible anymore? Here's a report. Have you ever been in the middle of a conversation and the person you're talking to whips out their phone? Some message or notification distracts them and derails the conversation. We're certain that a fair share of parents have faced this troublesome issue. And it seems it has succeeded in ticking off UNESCO as well. We say this because UNESCO has come out with a report. This one's on technology in education. It's basically a recommendation. One that'll bring cheer to teachers' lounges almost everywhere. UNESCO wants smartphones banned in schools. This is the complete statement by UNESCO chief Audrey Azule. The highlights are that technology should be used for the well-being of students and teachers, not to their detriment. And online connections are no substitute for human interaction. The director of the report added this. He says, we need to teach children to live both with and without technology. And technology should support but never supplant human interactions in teaching and learning. You can almost hear principals around the world popping champagne. It sounds like a vindication of their tireless, thankless efforts to get students to put away their phones. And of course, UNESCO has based its ban recommendation on sound logic. The report shows evidence of learning benefits disappearing if technology is used in excess or if qualified teachers are not present. For example, just distributing computers to students without getting them a good teacher does not lead to improvements in learning outcomes. Let's face it, the students will find other things to do on the laptop if left unsupervised. And UNESCO also cites how smartphones are a proven distraction from learning which again seems obvious. But critics of the proposed ban could bring up their own points. For those who graduated in the last two decades, imagine education without Google or Wikipedia. Could you have managed your assignments without access to those resources? Think about the pandemic, how video conferencing helped people attend classes from home. So then how can UNESCO consider banning smartphones? The UN organization did think about these things and it had a response ready. UNESCO says most of the information online is in English. So useful study material is hard to come by for people being educated in other languages. And as for the pandemic, it exposed the gaps between the haves and have-nots. It distorted learning for those without phones or laptops. And so studying remotely should be a last resort. Besides, one doesn't need smartphones for remote learning if they're attending school anyway. So UNESCO's stance is simple. Ban smartphones in classrooms and let the teachers do their jobs. UNESCO feels phones are both a distraction and can lead to other situations that harm a child's development, like cyberbullying. So UNESCO wants the phones out of schools. And a few governments agree with the UN body. In 2018, France had banned phones in school. Finland banned smartphones just this month. The Netherlands also brought in a ban a few days ago. The Dutch ban will come into effect next year, but there will be exceptions for students with medical needs or a disability. But in most countries, the ban hasn't been issued by the government. It's mostly left up to the schools. And the schools do find it hard to impose a complete ban. While a lot of parents agree that phones should be switched off while in class, some are against a ban. That's because parents may want to contact children while they commute. It's one of the positives of a child carrying a phone. But of course, that means some children will inevitably find ways to use the phones during school hours. It's a tough problem to tackle, and smartphones are just the beginning. You already have smart watches, smart glasses could make a comeback. And who knows how many smart, AI-powered devices will exist a few years from now. Will you ban all of these things? 
How on earth will teachers enforce this? It's easy to call for a ban, but much harder to actually execute one. If schools successfully manage, we'll let you know.